Isn't this supposed to be the Nissan R33 L variations? No, it's not. Because I actually went hunting today and got the Fast and Fur Furious 5 pack and a single. So that Nissan R33 video will be coming tomorrow. And then hopefully after that will be eBay score part 2, hopefully. So let's get into it. So, starting off from the 5-pack with my favorite in, in the pack, the Torino. This is my favorite. If you if you guys been been on my channel before, my favorite color is green. So that's why this is my favorite. And finally, finally a, a Torino I, 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 I like. Because all, all the, the other ones are just ugly. I mean, finally, a Torino I like, and I can finally put this into my collection. I can finally have a Torino in my collection. And I think this had a casting, a, a casting change, I I think. Because I don't rem remember the grill being a part of the interior. I, re I remember it being a, a part of the base. So I think that's a, a casting change. Well, I think it's for the better, cause, cause you know how fucking ugly it is when they make the base black and then the grill's all blacked out. This, this is way better having the front chrome and, and that beautiful green with this very short, skinny stripe. This has been released before in the Walmart Fast and Furious series. There are some differences in the green. So that's my first one because the Walmart ones I just couldn't get. Let's just do this right, right away. Here's the single I got that El Camino matte. It's a matte, I don't know what this color is, like a very, very dark red or plum or whatever. I like it. Looks, looks pretty cool in, in the flames. Have the green one that was released in the A case. And now there's a white one, which is only gonna be a Kroger. Fuck you, Mattel, for doing that, because I don't have Kroger. Yeah, so that's that. And I think there was a, a another color another color as well. I could be mistaken. I, I could be wrong on that. Next car from now all all these are from the five pack, I just wanted to put that in right now. Okay, so we got the 70 Chevelle. I am happy to see that they're still making this casting. Because there's another Chevelle casting, which I hate. And there's the new casting that came out this year. Which everyone likes better. Which I'm uh, I, I'm on with them. I like the uh, new casting. Well, I still have love for this one. Because it's, it's the original. You have to love the original. This has been released before in the Fast and Furious series, I think 200 times. And also, it was with this color in the in the premium series on the new casting body. So here here's the same thing, but it's on the old the old casting. Still looks pretty cool. It's all primer gray. So you can paint this if you like. You can take it apart and paint it. Cause, Cause, look, it's just primer gray. You can do whatever you want with it. It has no other tempo on it. Well, uh, it does have some orange thing right there. I think that's the only tempo on it. Yeah, that's the only tempo on on the thing. So very nice. I have a whole bunch of Chev of these Chevelles as well. I have so many of them. Next car, the Ford Escort. This has been released a lot of times. I have some non Fast and Furious ones, and I have and I have a Fast and Furious one. Well, the color is much darker. So finally, I got the one that's the lighter color. It, it looks basically identical to the one released in twenty fifteen. The white stripe. I like it. I like the the blue on it with the gold wheels. Reminds me of of the Asubis. 
And it's interesting how this has um, one mirror on this side. See it? The mirror. And then on this side, it's not. I don't know why that is. And also the, the steering wheel is on this side. That is really fucking weird that... This is a Ford is an American company, and then they put the steering wheel on this, on this side. I, I don't know. You guys got to help me on that in the comments below. Next car, the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. I have the Super that was re released this year. Don't know how I, how I was able to find it. That was on the front peg. I found that Super. Yeah. Yeah, that is completely fucking crazy. I had this before. Two other ones. Same same as this. Same paint. Well, all all the only difference was the previous two I had had different wheels. So I got three of these now with all different wheels. This has the lace wheels. And it has taillights, which I don't know if the other ones had taillights. I have to take a look at my other ones. It's all plain. Still very nice. Now, now the last car, which, which we're gonna, gonna do a, a little comparison because we have two. The 60, 60, 61 Impala. Sorry on that. Nice bright red. Now this is a red. Not like the McLaren P1 in the last video. Well, this is really red. And this is really nice as well. This hasn't been released before in the Fast and Furious series, I don't think. I think this is the first time. So, that's pretty cool. So, it's a uh, new release. So, the only way to get this as of now is in, in this 5-pack. Because all the others have been released previously. Got the white stripe. This has been released in the, in the Ajeda, the, the larger Fast and Furious series, not from Hot Wheels. Very nice and clean. I mean, that's a nice looking car right there. So this is what I was trying to compare, because this is a 62 Impala. When I was in the store, I thought, oh, I, I have a, a older one, so I can put this with it. And I found out it's not the, the same casting as you, you can see in, in the front and in the back. You can tell they're they're different. They're about the same length. Well, it's just like a, a barely noticeable of how this one's just barely barely shorter. This one has the post there. This one does not. And also, this one has kind of a bit of a rake to it. Well, this is just the, the stock height, I'm guessing. And the front is really, which is di the most different. Yeah, so I thought it was the same. And it's pretty crazy how they the, how they released two Impalas year, the same year, well, years back to back. Because usually they don't do this because they look too similar. Well, with this... Hmm. hmm, so, I, I guess that's nice how they did that for Impala fans. 2012 is when this casting debuted, and I don't know about this one. 2004. Oh, so they were made roughly eight years apart, <laughs> if my math is right. Yeah, so that's the end of this video. What car do you like? This new Impala? The Corvette? The Escort? The Chevelle? The Camino? And the Torino? Oh, wait, I, I had to say something. I kind of wish they threw at least one JDM into, into this pack. If I would pick one, I would say they released the, R3, the yellow R33. Because that will be awesome, because you can get it with plastic tires, the yellow R33. And, and what I would do, I would, I would probably kick out this. I will probably take this out and replace it with the yellow R33. So what do you guys, so what do you guys th think of this pack? I, I think it's pretty cool. 
and I think it would, it would be better if they had the yellow R33 and replace it with, and yeah, take that R33 and have it replace this because it's been released two other times. Or this one. You can replace one of these two and put the R33 in there. Yeah, so that, that was my little thing, so. Bye.